Hello, everybody. Welcome to Ratatouille. E. Ratatouille. Today, we're going to be watching Ratatouille to find out what the heck Ratatouille actually is in the first place. I actually really like this movie. I do, too. I have no qualms with this film. What is a qualm? We French know the truth. The best food in the world is made in France. No, it's made in Italy. I think the best food in the world is made in your local Papa John's pizza. Two large pizzas for $15. <laughs> no, 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 no. Donato's. Y'all sleeping on Golden Corral. <laughs> No! I wish I could on the roof of Golden Corral. They like take food out of the dumpsters of other restaurants and put it on their buffet. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, hey, <laughs> you know? He's the youngest chef ever to achieve a five star rating. Youngest? He looks like he's like 57. Well, that's the youngest. It's like how our youngest president ever was like 48. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Amusing title. Anyone can cook. The Grim Eater. He looks like the dude from Hotel Transylvania. He looks like me on an average basis because I don't sleep enough. Is he okay? I mean, his last name is Ego, so probably not. Oh. The beginning of this movie is so unhinged. Um, <laughs> This movie's kind of unhinged. This is me. You might you're probably, probably wondering, wondering how, how I ended, ended up in this situation. This situation. <laughs> um, yeah, that's me. Power. <laughs> Eggs, sugar. The four elements, flour, eggs, sugar, vanilla bean. Hmm. Oh God, I'm getting flashbacks to the worst infomercial ever where it was like a recorder to help you remember what you needed at the store. She's like, butter, milk, eggs. <laughs> it's the worst thing ever. One egg. And then it came back and it was like, one egg. <laughs> Can you imagine going down the aisle and you hear a lady next to you just butter, <laughs> milk, eggs? It's like old people with their phone ringtones. <laughs> no, not that one, not that one. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh. Mm, yeah. Amazing. Oh, I didn't know you heard jazz when you eat cheese. You don't hear a jazz when you eat cheese? <laughs> you hear some jazz when I eat cheese. Actually, that wasn't jazz, but that was music. But only the fearless can be great. Pure poetry. Oh, is that why my soup sucked? Hey, this is Coco, except it's cooking and rats. Hey, my family doesn't want me to do this, but I really enjoy it and I'm really good at it, so I'm going to do it anyway. But uh-oh, it got me in trouble, but I'm going to work my way out of it and then become a really big icon to the rest of my people. And I'm going to look up to this really talented person in said field on a TV. <laughs> it's so loud. Okay, that's two, three, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that a pump action shotgun that she shot ten shells out of? That's a hard no for me. I love how the music in this movie is like a billion times louder than everything else. Dude, I had to just turn that down or else I was going to go insane during this recording. <laughs> I love waterboarding. <laughs> That was an explosion sound effect. I want that as a bumper sticker. I heart waterboarding. <laughs> you are better than that. You are a cook. A cook makes a thief takes. Well, I can't tell he's a ghost because there's no reverb on his voice, guys. Well, by that logic, I am a ghost right now. <laughs> You're only slightly a ghost. Hold on, wait a minute, go back. That's Doug. Oh, oh, that's Doug? From the hit movie, Down. That's Doug from Up, oh my God. It's Doug. Oh my God, so that means they're all connected together in the Pixar lore. When is Left coming out? Oh, look, he's in Paris. They're in The most beautiful. Wow, the only sign in all of Paris, cool. You see those two letters there? You take that S and you put it in front of the U, and then it says sus. Yeah, but there's still an apostrophe, so it's uh, us. <laughs> Among Us stows. Sussy Among Us, Among Us Gus, 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 Gus stows. See, I love these fancy restaurants like this because their portion sizes are like you. That is a little more accurate to, to Europe. I mean, okay, yeah. As an American, me complaining about that makes a lot of sense. Like, why ain't that plate full of bacon and fries? European portion sizes, like you said, and two, for fancy restaurants, you're normally getting multiple courses. How many credit hours do I have to take with all these courses? I can't wait. It's usually a five-course meal, so... Yeah, five credits for your culinary school that you definitely went to. Fredo Linguini, Renata's little boy. 
An interesting fact about this movie is that in the original version of the script, Gusto was supposed to be still alive, and I do not know how that was going to work with this movie. Um, yeah, no. It's so overly complicated. Make him dead, which is what they did. Yeah, I wish they would do that with me and my story for the MWS videos. Just make me a ghost. Jude, step out of your set, and then we'll make you like 50% opacity with a clean plate. Was I supposed to take the chair out of the room? <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> Hi, Jude. Him? He's nobody. Not nobody. He is part of the kitchen. Yeah, he's a plungeur or something. No, actually, he's not. He's not a plunger. Oh, my God. Kevin's famous chili moment. Oh, it's like from The Office, dude. I love The Office so much. Oh, my God. I didn't make a reference that was from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Why did he squeak, though? Because he got squoes. You've been squoak. Squoak? Squacked. Squaked. Where is he getting this from? Um, uh, the counter. I love the one that just says cream. Actually, that says creme. Why is it not refrigerated? It's just cream. Jude, you know fancy restaurants don't care about food safety. It depends on the fancy restaurant, I guess. <sighs> Yo, this is a three-star fancy restaurant, so. Cool. So it's like a Denny's. Apparently no one has ever glanced at this thing of soup. In fact, if you look in the background, there's just no people. A lot of Pixar movies work because they're not set in a human world, but this is, is a little weird on that front. You have to suspend a lot of disbelief for this one. Stop that soup! What did the customer say? It was not a customer. It was a critic. That was Kroger every time, like, some random person who asked too many questions came through your line. That wasn't a customer. It was a mystery shopper. They, yeah, they, they get done and they're like, by the way, Good job. I'm from corporate. And I'm like, yeah, I gathered when you asked me every textbook question that you're supposed to ask. Some random customers like, hey, what's your average IPM? <laughs> you're not supposed to know that. You can see it on the bottom left of this screen. Oh, you would know that. You understand me? So I'm not crazy. <laughs> I wish that instead of pulling his hair, the rat only spoke Russian to him. And that was the only way they could communicate. Look at the toy. <laughs> and then he's gonna feel bad. I hated that. I love doing that. That specific frame of Linguini's face looked like Sid. Recreate the the soup. The soup. Soup. Poop. <laughs> yeah, we got we got poop. Kinda. <gasps> I first watched this movie, I thought this was feasible. Yeah, you see your hair is actually directly connected to your brain. See, I pulled my hair like that, but my arms were already up, so I couldn't tell if it worked. <laughs> Goodbye. Just got killed by a crepe. How, where did that land to cause a car crash, though? Uh, directly on the windshield of a, of a passing car. A very small car at that. Yeah, also, how did that thing have the velocity to break through a window pane? That was a very overcooked pancake. It is a soft piece of bread. Or a soft piece of bread. <laughs> One egg. I wish I had a rat to do this to give me any kind of fine motor control that I just don't have. What are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm cutting vegetables. I'm cutting the vegetables. No, you waste energy and time. Oh my God. I just realized he sounds like Joe Biden when he talks. Just that like, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm cutting vegetables. Oh, at the kitchen table. Joe Biden's being controlled by a rat. America can be described in four words. Uh, the United States of America. Uh, Wait a minute. Yeah! <laughs> he changed it. As it was going out the door! Say love it! Linguini! I have seven more orders! That guy is the truck from Cars that carries Lightning McQueen. Oh my god, it is. He's also the banished snow guy from Monsters, Inc. The the, the Yeti. The, abom the abominable mongol. He's in every Pixar movie. He's in Up when the guy like busts his head open and bleeds because that movie was for kids. Da! <laughs> Why is he up on that rack like freaking Gollum? I smell a rat! A stinky, stupid little rat! What are you eating? I don't really know. 
Ren, I feel like we've had this conversation before. <laughs> I like come in and you're eating out of a package of cheese, like the entire thing. And I'm like, what are you doing? And you're like, oh, well. we've got to go to the colony. Everyone will be thrilled. I kind of have to. What do you have to more than family? Family. Family. It's all about family. I can't wait for the Dominic Toretto rat to show up and say family. I drive a Dodge Charger family. At this point, so we just watch like Fast 9 or whatever their number they're on. Nine. You can't follow up Fate of the Furious with F9 and expect me not to say F9 when I see F9. I think they're making a 10th one. F10? Ratatouille doesn't sound delicious. It sounds like rat and patootie. Rat patootie. This sounds like a writer wrote down a conversation with a four-year-old. That sounded like a Seinfeld bit. Boom, 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 boom. It just keeps going down forever. <laughs> Excuse me, did you just start playing a bass line after I made that joke? Get out of here. <laughs> yes. I hate Seinfeld because every joke is like, what's the deal with light bulbs getting turned on all the time? <laughs> and then they do the bass line and then the show ends. It's almost like it was written by someone who did stand up. <laughs> yeah, except he he wasn't funny then. And he's not funny now. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please pepper spray him. Oh, that family that couldn't watch Prince Caspian is screaming right now. No! No! I was enjoying this movie. They, they like have to go in and edit the movie and cut that part out before they let their kids watch it. Yeah, so he just gets like an inch away from her mouth and then it just cuts to that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's a skull. She's bad. <laughs> In Sunday school as a kid, I had to list examples of sin. And I wrote down uh, wearing a shirt with a skull on it because I thought that was really bad. I thought that was like next to murder because Sid from Toy Story did it. So bad. <laughs> The scene isn't good enough. I want like the Benny Hill Vanoss gaming music over it. Speed rat. Somebody analyze how fast he is running here. Please tell me how he's outrunning this scooter. That happened really quick. It sure did. Oh God, it's Slender Man. Oh my God, it's Gru probably based on the proportions. You're slow for someone in the fast lane. Uh, uh. Uh, get it? Because fast lanes are where people are going faster than the slow lane. <laughs> Dinner's on me. We'll go after closing time. In fact, tell dad to bring the whole clan. Tell dad to bring the whole, whole clan. clan. Does that mean there is going to be a collision or a clash, if you will, of the clans? <laughs> no, because there's only one clan, so there can't be a clash. There has to be multiple clans for there to be a clash of clans. I would know. Man, oboes make me think about mischief. What? Oboes make me think about mischief. Oh, I thought you said elbows. I'm like, why? Yep, elbows. These dogs right here. Weenuses or weenai, if you will. The plural of weenus is weenai. <laughs> the most secure lock I've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, it's a rat trap. <laughs> Where a literal rat can open it. Your recipe. How could you not know your own recipe? Tell them we're all out. We cannot be allowed. We just opened. You know how many times I've been to a fast food restaurant and they're like, we're out of bread. We don't have any hamburger. Why are you out of hamburger? I eat it all. McDonald's when the employee machine is broken. <laughs> what does the employee <laughs> machine do? I don't know. They have them there. Those kiosks that are sticky and I hate them. I don't blame any of them. If your boss was like, yo, um, I'm incompetent, but a rat controls me. Like, no. No. Me when I'm having second thoughts about leaving my boyfriend who's controlled by a rat in the movie Ratatouille. Did you know that in Ratatouille... <laughs> there's rats, and that's why it's named Ratatouille. If they make a second one of these, this is going to be Ratatouille. It's going to be too Ratatouille. <laughs> it just falls and it just... <sighs> I'm sorry, are we at a Sonic, sir? Just tell me what the rat wants to cook. Okay, so here's a really important scene because next week we're going to be doing a video where June and Bran have to cook ratatouille from the movie Ratatouille. So we have to pay really close attention to this scene. Okay, I'll I'll, uh, I'll stop checking out of this entire ordeal. We have a recipe card here that I don't think is high resolution for us to read. I think this is really visible. I don't know about you. <laughs> you know, I watched this last week and I'm still a little confused as to what ratatouille actually is in the first place. It's steamed vegetables. Well, how would you prepare it? 
slice vegetable, mix vegetable, sauce vegetable, vegetable, cover vegetable. Some kind of sauce, um, lunchables apparently. Stewed vegetable. Is there pepperoni in that? Cause it looks like there's pepperoni in it. No, that's, that's a tomato. This looks like the worst dish ever. And it also just looks like lunchables that are squishy and I don't like it. Oh, is this when he's about to, like, see his dad for the first time in his mind or something stupid? Actually, no, because his dad isn't in it. It's his mom. Look, mom, I built a real rocket based on the macaroni prototype. Eh. <laughs> see, that ratatouille is different. That one's, like, all chopped up and weird. Well, yeah, because that, that's, like, the actual... Yeah. You guys definitely have to figure out how to make the crap from the movie because that's way more interesting. Mm -hmm. God, I wish I could eat steamed vegetables and feel happiness. That would be great. As Linguini explains, Ego's smile disappears. He calls the FDA and shuts down the entire restaurant. The world is often unkind to new talent, new creations. We've tallied two scenes for the Prince Caspian family. <laughs> <laughs> A new um, movie rating threshold. Would they be allowed to watch it? <laughs> like 90% of our movies are no, and we do kids' movies. They had to let Skinner and the health inspector loose, and of course they ratted us out. <laughs> That was funny. I really liked when they said ratted us out. <laughs> that reminds me of rats and ratted to me. That was really funny. I know ratted to is steamed vegetables, but I still don't understand it. Um, it's it's steamed vegetables that you eat. It's stewed vegetables. You stew them. Oh, we're gonna have to find out what it is next time on the awesome TV show that is Microwave Society. Heck yeah. Well, if rats can cook, uh, you might be able to <laughs> have a day.